Bom dia, na turma CNN, não. Bom dia a outro programa de Já Sabra. A gente está sentar com o Kurt Everts, nós estamos sentar com o David e Sela Scott, que está de Merca, que não tem três anos que estava vivendo na Corsão, e não está sumamente encantado com a nossa isla. Agora você vai ter um papo, e a gente quer que um contato com a Corsão, e também estima a Corsão. E nós também vamos pedir um projeto sumamente interessante de talento, música, nos isla tem assim tanto talento, nós conhecemos o talento na riba terena de deporte, mas de música, arte também não está hobby. E nós temos é, um projeto que nós Film Score Studios, de qual curta a metacinta aqui na AMP, que eu ainda não sei explicar o que é que está, e David e Sela também o complementar, mas eu quero, não saber a ganha mais papi para não contar o que é o projeto. Tá. Bom dia a todos nós, bem-vindos em nosso estúdio. Tá, Como está? Como está? Curt, conta-me algo de Curioso Film Score Studios. Studios. É uma iniciativa que uh, caminha com uma pensa que está bom para nós criar uma plataforma no quadro de nation building, né? se um, ajuda a construir o país. Nós temos tanto talento na uh, composers, né? uh, componistas, né? uh, arrangers, uh, musicians, gente que está escrevendo música, arranjar música, arreglar música, tocar música, gente uh, de arte e cultura. Nós temos tanto de Camerón e na nossa base local, naturalmente, um tipo internacional também, um mais que o outro. Pero não no tomado descobri suficientemente lié para nós pacientes que nós não tem. Que men me deu os aqui que lá que nós cria uma plataforma, um marketplace, caminha com isto pull and tour composers, tour arrangers, musicians, abre um marketplace para não tour topa com outro, tra tanto individualmente como como coletividade para uh, tra skibi componer, arreglar Film score. Film score, que é uma música que você traz para o cine, que você pega boy no cine. Ora, vou lá com o cine, vou ter uma certa experiência. Ora, vou lá com o cine, vou ter uma imagem, vou ter uma voz, vou ter uma papia, vou ter tendo um sound effect, então eu vou ter uma música. Ou uma música, vou pôr um pré, paga outra renda, não tem direito, não tem direito, vou dizer, para eu usar uma música, ou vou pôr componer. Agora, nós temos tanto talento na Corsão, tanto gente que pode tanto coisa, que nós temos tudo junto, então nós temos junto com o CTB, com o Ministério de Desenvolvimento Econômico, nós um, temos que promover a Corsão, que está uh, available para trabalhar filmes cortantes. Tanto artista não individual, como coletividade, não escreve música, vende, ou escreve música, nós temos que vender, proteger o direito de toda a cena, proteger o trono, e nós está com a mesa para tudo ainda para como. Isso é uma plataforma. Nós não estamos mexendo com a pandemia ainda. Nós estamos trazendo tudo ainda juntos, 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 nós temos Sela Scott, Sela e David Crocco, nanta profissional de música por de merca, não lo conta mais over the film scores and their current business and their plans and their plans with regard to Curacao, their possibilities to fill gaps we might have. How how why Curacao? Because it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we want the story. <laughs> we came on a brief vacation and just uh, came down here. We didn't know about Curacao. Uh, I knew we wanted to go somewhere in the Caribbean, and um, we looked at a few different islands. And this seemed like, for the time we had, something really exciting that we, you know, we've never been here. Came down for eight days, and on the seventh day, we bought a house. Wow! So we're done. <laughs> done. Yeah. This, this Check is it. here. <laughs> Check yeah. here. Um, so, uh, but but you know, it's so Carousel. It's just so magic. It's the people. It's you know, uh, as Corden was saying, the talent. The, it's just ready. It's just ripe right now. Um, and we just fell in love with all aspects of it. So when we started talking, you know, Sailor and I uh, in, in the states, our job is we are uh, we have a, a studio, an Emmy Award nominated studio 
that there's post post production sound. So we mix sound for TV and film. Um, but we also have a side business that is a music library company where we have 27 composers. They all compose, and we're in the position to get this music to the producers because every TV show we get it comes with dialogue, and we have to film music. Now this is different than there's different levels of the film score. Like Kurt was saying, there's library music, right? And then we also will occasionally have a, a producer say we need a score, then they'll score to the scene and all that. So, but we have the we have the ability to get right to these people, and um, I thought that that was something that we could do uh, fit in nicely to the mix of this already so unbelievably talented island of, of musicians and composers. But did, did you research something about Curacao, about the music of Curacao, before you get to the decision to stay here? No. no. <laughs> Zella. We were just looking for somewhere to go on a vacation, and we didn't have a lot of experience in the Caribbean, and it was chosen very randomly. But the more layers that we've peeled off of this onion, being here longer and longer, there's just been more and more to love. And us being music people, obviously, you know, the musical talent really drew us in. Cord took us to Tumba Festival, yeah. and that was definitely a really eye-opening moment. Of, you know, of course, obviously, there's talent here. And we were already meeting people and getting the idea, yeah. like, there's definitely, there's real musicians yeah. here. We knew there was world-class talent. Yeah. We just didn't know how much. We had no idea, like, <laughs> how many for the yeah. size of this place. <laughs> like, whoa. You should have seen their faces when they saw <laughs> the <laughs> bands uh, on and off uh, at, at Tumba Festival coming on to play and then going up and then yeah. the next Yeah, we're like, another we're amazing, another, another incredible, <laughs> an yeah. where are they all coming from? The second time we visited here, we have this thing, um, with with our other partner TJ Scott, where day after day it was just another magic day. It was like, yeah. oh my, to, how could there be another magic day in Curacao? And it was just like Salo was saying, the onion was being peeled back, and all the aspects of the island, the the culture, the history. Um, we fell so, in love with architecture. We yes, didn't see that coming. Yes. Side note: We bought the old <laughs> Democratic Center, and we're re reviving that on Friedrichstadt. So, okay. so we're bringing that back up to its natural beauty, and we're going to do music in there as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. It's going to be a, yeah, it was yeah, a very all inclusive. Um, what's really important to, to us is that we don't come in and and take away the culture of the island. So this 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 democratic center will be built up to its original glory. We'll have music constantly, constantly. But it's going to be very open and welcome to the locals who grew up there. I mean, we've met so many people that said we used to play in these halls. We used to run around here. So it's been so cool. People are so emotional about that part of town. Yeah. As we're walking yes. along, people come up and they're like, so what are the plans for this? Because yeah. my grandmother lived right there. Yeah. And I used to play right here. So, so the plans so are to cool. keep it that, you know, of course, tourists will come in and we'll have big, you know, beautiful musical festivals and bands. But the idea is day after day. Locals come right back into that place they used to be playing and, and be able to hear music and be part of it. Yes. Are there a, a specific kind of music um, that um, is required for uh, films and things like that? Um, I'm going to hand it, uh, I have a quick answer to that and I want to hand it back to Kurt because he has a very emotional uh, standpoint about this as well. Um, a good composer is a good composer, period. Yeah. Action is action, drama is drama. You know, tense is tense. Now, having said that, having said that, we all have our roots and we all have, uh, you know, our own mama's spaghetti sauce, right? <laughs> and, and, and all of that will, comes in. So there's a very special music of, of Curacao that, that we all witness at Dumba, right? But in terms of a classical composer, somebody that can compose, uh, you know, for uh, a feature length film, it's just the quality of the composer. Yeah, so what, the, what happens is we have all those family names like the Palms and the Boscalions and the Corsons and all of them, they, uh, they're here, but um, it evolves, like, like a language evolves, music evolves as well. And when we have composers and arrangers of the quality we have here, they can do anything. They can do local things and folkloristic things, but they can do uh, symphonic things, philharmonic things. Mm -hmm. So they can compose anything 
depends on what the film industry wants. So it's not only the Gears of Film Score Studios, it's not only for local Caribbean music folkloristic, no, it's one of them, but it's a wide range. And um, to, to, to go back to when we launched the Gears of Film Score Studios uh, two weeks ago, it was on March 1st, Gregory Colina, Colina gave our, he's one of our top arrangers and composers, and he, uh, he is a professional in film scoring. He, in his presentation, he analyzed, he showed the audience at Luna Blau, he showed the audience big, big, big films, um, box office films, and he went uh, showing the audience his analysis of what has been done there. And what did he find? One of the things he found was that the tumba music mm -hmm. was, um, was used in many other uh, film music uh, um, um, songs and themes for mm -hmm. films, we never would have dreamed of that there is our music in there. So our music is everywhere, but you just don't realize it. But it's for these tech guys, these composers and the real music, music professionals. They know Nansa Kongi Lesa Kongi Analizatore Musica Nankemen Gregory Colina Asinto como film score professional, como arreglista, como composer, analiza cine and grandi and the behind a macho because interesting to the cost of no sender and poor no who am I poor for no sender and poor no music on and fee a band of the mass chiquito take a band and the mass grandi for the I and Andy you're about to copy the family of Palam be about the song that influence our Italian music music at the end is be about grand and Andy the show for Palam for Bascoliona etc etc no music at the tour coming at the sun also so pero Hopi hende gute trasine, hopi filmmaker ang no sa kwanto talento kung de kamaron kung kaya si ta inisiyatibo di kaya sa films for studios. Tres na hundo, hundo seti ba ko desarrollo ekonomiko, ministerio desarrollo ekonomiko ta promote na internationalmente di mo na kung antahay na imaginaw mo sa sintawak ng sine. And so um, you see the film, and at the end you see the credits, a roll you see there. And so, but the mirror, but as what Baba Kaur, what Baba Mirun goes bonita, with music bonita, and so but that one, epa, it was it as in a prosau, prosau su nombre de tu camino, prosau su componista, and tu camino arreglista, and and the seita lo que nos que logra que es aquí, and the seí nos organiza aquí los films con sus videos, and nos está nos in cuatro seminarios, four seminar, knowledge exchange, expertise, because when somebody can the, the fact that somebody can write music, compose music, doesn't mean he knows how to run a business. Mm -hmm. And we're sharing knowledge and expertise on the four seminars we have, where people are financial professionals, uh, um, legal professionals, economic professionals, uh, rights, royalties, um, um, mm -hmm. all kinds of things that come with setting up a business, they will all come to the show. And people with knowledge and expertise will talk to our musicians, talk to our composers to help them so that they can be discovered by the outside world. And CTV is promoting that, mm -hmm. promoting mm -hmm. Curacao besides mm -hmm. uh, nice blue skies and palm trees and beers and whatever. <laughs> they are also promoting, they will also be promoting Curacao as a composer and producer of film score. How's the re reaction since first of March? That Tremendous, okay. fantastic, yeah, yeah. Okay. fantastic. It was. Okay. I mean, yeah. VBC was there, and, and, and the, the, the business community was there. The president and the director were there. Um, the ministries were there. The uh, Ministry of uh, Economic Development was there. Uh, who else was there? The Chamber of Commerce was there. They were all there, and musicians, and composers, and people mailing us. And if I don't answer uh, within a day, they'll call me and say, hey, I sent you a mail. <laughs> Why didn't you answer? I <laughs> said, I'm to react positively, but I don't want to say, caramba, I have an opportunity. So it's like a, a trampoline, boing, boing, whoop, and there they go. Mm -hmm. You want the outside uh, world, the film industry, to discover the potential we have. Mm -hmm. It was lovely to, uh, I was going to say, at, at uh, Luna, at Theater Blau, um, Mo and Desiree were so generous to to give that space, which is just a, a really a wonder, wonderful spot to hold it. Um, we were able to have 10 musicians on stage. At the end of the night, we took, um, we took a clip from our partner's TV show, Departure, um, and took a small clip of that and 
we had our seminar and then everyone went out for drinks and something to eat. And then while in the, during that time, about 30 minutes, we all worked to get a little film score or wrote a score and they came back in, we projected it with only dialogue, no, no sound, no music, and we played live and it was just really yes. fantastic. It was super cool. We were going to go to the city, and then we were going to go to the film commission, and we were going to go to the city, and we were going to go to the city, and we were going to go to the city, and we were going to go to the city, and we were going to go to the city, and we were going to go to the city, and we were going to Live, non è mai tocca. Baudi, liderasco di Gregory Colina, Stanley Petriani, uh, Ronchi Matthew, Herschel, tu ne hai fatto, uh, Lonte, non è tocca musica, secondo le cose che passa, treni, then we called in everybody again, anche ora non si vuole passare, però che musica non è componente wow. e arreglata, ma dopo te mire io ora con che effetto ha, se ti posso dire tangibile, anche cosa che è ta. Crea musica, questa pace se che è lo che bota sì. mira, ma tu bota score, riba e bella, na riba e immagina. Sì. Se non sa, sì, well, it was like a home run. Sì. 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 That I was going to ask you. Sí. So, if you want to participate, it's a fuente, a fuente de sí, entrada. Si vale a ask a un, un, un composer, if you are a composer and you want to be part of it, you just tell us you want to be part mm -hmm. of it and tell us this is what I compose and it's protected by law, etc., etc. Or can you help us with be, being protected? But if you want to be seen on the platform, you just register with us and mm -hmm. we're going to make you uh, uh, include you in the database with the names and your contact information and you will be contacted directly not via us just um, if uh, 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 somebody else in, in LA in Vegas in mm -hmm. South America whomever nanto buscando they're looking for a film score and they say Alaska Diaz her genre is um, um, offices and buildings in, in, in midtown Mm -hmm. And uh, you are very good in composing music for cities. They will contact you and they start talking about you, um, 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 with you, and say, well, we're going to make a film. It's a 90 minute film and 30 minutes of it, it's in the city and the city. We want you to score for us for our part that's in the city. And then you're going to compose music, you're going to arrange music, you're going to produce it, and you're going to talk to them and do your business. Give me an initiative a non-profit, a tre situazioni junto, che mi hanno dato la platform for free, a poco cosa, però ora posso negoci, a poco non è un po' di più. Sì, non ci occupiamo di nulla, non ci occupiamo di touch nobody's business, nobody's food, nobody's nada. E voi, a Babi, se mi vuoi sapere, voi pensate a me, taglier, no? Workshop? Sì, the next one is on June 23rd. June 23rd. That's the first one? The second one. Second one? Yeah, on March 1st we started, but if needs be, we can we can always organize more because there's a lot of requests. I think, yeah, I think as this goes on, there will be smaller intermittent ones with, you know, We, we will, every, every one that we do, the big one, we will specialize on certain topics. Like for instance, on this next one, Sela and I uh, are going to help people get copywritten and with ASCAP or BMI, which, which is the companies that, that tracks around and collects royalties for you. So mm -hmm. I, I noticed a lot of people didn't really know what that is. Holland has one, but it's not nearly as um, it's big. It's Bima, Bima Yeah, it's, uh -huh. not, it's not as big as ASCAP. So, One of the things we're going to do for the next one is get it set up so we can help the composers sign up for it. And it's like 25, you know, it's like 25 bucks or something. It's not, you know, to, to, to ASCAP, which it would be at the Holland one too. But um, we're going to help them get signed up so that their music can be tracked and that make sure that their songs are copywritten. But along the way, there might be little other things like, I mean, part of this is just building community because as it grows and grows, you might find a section of people that that aren't really classical composers maybe they're rock musicians because there's been plenty of films that have been scored especially like in the 80s and 90s that were were not the old typical or orchestral type but they were a little more synth oriented so they might find a little pack together and say well let's let's go explore this and and we'll we'll put something on in between for them 
Um, but the, the main thing is just getting everybody together and realizing that we're stronger together. It's like, it's like if you're a composer and I'm an arranger, I mean, I was a component, Amita Regla, she makes the music and he wants to sell it. Yeah. He needs to talk to her, talk yeah. to me, talk to you. We need to protect your work, my work, her mm -hmm. work, and then yeah. he starts selling it. And so it was not in the way of lay. And it was a specialist thing lay. So they are going to talk about how you can. And, and we said and in the first one on March 1st, we said, if we can score it, we can sell it. Yes. But the beef is in scoring it, protecting it, and sell it. You can't sell it if it's not protected. It's like we're sitting here with Extra, with the biggest newspaper, mm -hmm. and you write something, and then another news medium gets your uh, news item and starts playing around with it, and you will say, hey, 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 that's my <laughs> item. Yes. That's protection, protection. by law. Protection, yeah. yes. So we need to do that with music too. Yes. And that's, what, that's one of the most important parts that came out already on the first night yeah. on March 1st. So the, everything that has to do with rights and protection and royalties and, 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 and uh, protecting the product and in the different stages, composing, arranging, playing, that's important. And of course, the finance and the taxes, because you're gonna, we're creating an export product and the export product generates money that comes in. But yes. also the central bank was, the, yeah. they were represented by two and they will be speaking in September. They already committed to speak, to help us and say, what, where do you need us mm -hmm. as the central bank to help you to make this platform work for everybody? The central yeah. bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They committed and they were there with two people. Mm -hmm. So we want to keep every, well, what we want to also make sure that the public knows you are invited. Um, this is not just for the composers themselves. Now, yes, this is our focus, but if you're a musician that has interest in film, if you're a filmmaker, that has interest in film. You will learn something here. You can be a director and come to this and not even be a musician, but know that, that the importance of composition in film, uh, I mean, if you ever walk into a movie and it's the most beautiful, beautiful shot you've ever seen, for the end of the like this, the movie's blown, yes. right? So, so there's a place in, in for the, you know, this is our focus, the composers and getting, getting it out there, but, as the community grows, this will branch out to a, just even a bigger community. There's a, you know, there's a place for anybody that loves music to come here. Like I said, I, we don't want anybody to get shied away because they only play guitar, yeah. you know, or, or because you, you can still, you can still benefit from this. Mm -hmm. We have, we have like, always, because we have reactions of local uh, musicians, composers, filmmakers, locally as well as internationally, already contacting us. I'm in the US, I'm in the Netherlands, I'm in London, I'm here, I'm there. We also have a local psychiatrist. So he is a real mm -hmm. professional on how the mind works. Dr. Blade, Carl Blade, who said, I'm offering my expertise. I will lecture for your uh, Curacao Film Score Studios to explain what the mind does when you see a film mm -hmm. so you can engineer something that works mm -hmm. for the mind. So we have it's expertises big. from it's everybody. Big. It's something big. Mm -hmm. Everybody is knocking on the door saying, hey, I can deliver. Yeah. And that's what David and Sela have been doing too. In the other interviews also, where is the gap? Where can we fill in? Yeah. And that's how others are behaving as well, reacting as well, because you asked, how was the reaction? In the other reaction, positively, to something for the platform, uh, for us to, to, to reach our goals. Everybody's bringing in expertise and that collective expertise to go back into music, it's like an orchestra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the music that comes out of that is super. Mm -hmm. It, it, to the sake that like, I me, um, Cinti, you know, I feel like um, many, many years ago when we start scouting our kids to go play um, baseball, you know, one go, two go, mm -hmm. and you know, the hype. Yeah. I think this will be just like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what what about I am? Um, it attracts two. Yes, it triggers. One, yeah. and. Yes. Yes, it Unless, triggers a lot of, it triggers a lot of enthusiasm. It will trigger, and, yes. yes. Absolutely. Right. Let's not forget about all of the, the studies that have been done over and over and over again. Children that are exposed to music do better in math. They do better in science. Yes.
as soon as music starts, which unfortunately we're seeing a lot of in the United States, getting cut, the arts are getting cut, the, the children are struggling much more in other subjects as well. So yeah. again, like, we are very focused on what we're what we're doing, but at the same time, we recognize how this can overflow into many other areas. So, if you're in a rock band, come down. We're in a rock band, and I'm, you know, I'm not a I'm not a classical composer. But I mean, Salem and I are a rock band that toured all, all over the country. Um, we've had placement in film and TV. Yeah, but so we have placement in film it, and TV. It can be done. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, yes. And we, all, all of this feeds really well into the film incentives too that we're yes. that we're working on. At the same time, you know, we've been meeting um, with the Minister of Finance, uh, uh, several different people. We're trying to get tax incentives to get the film world to come down here and film here. The, most of the world now has has given film incentives, and Curacao has not yet. But we're working on getting it here. As soon as that happens, film will come down. TJ's trying to get his show to come down right now, uh, which would just it, it's just massive on so many levels. What it would do for the economy alone. I mean, you're talking about mm -hmm. hundreds of people coming down here, hotels, cabs, yes. food, all that. You know, just booming. Not to mention, not to mention. Uh, People see that on television, like, oh, I want to go to Curacao. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. local hire can become such a bigger and bigger part of it as it goes along, too. Yes. There are a lot of people interested in film here, too. We saw that during 48-hour film festival. Yes. Lots of talent there as well. So, so now we can train. Like, the, uh, part of the incentive is that the, 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 the kids, I say kids meaning anybody younger than me, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, this is giving an opportunity. The, the refinery was such a big thing for the island. It provided so much stability for middle income, right? And we feel like if we can bring film here, first of all, right away, our composers are first in, you know what I mean, are first in line. They're right there with the director. But second of all, we can start training people that they might be like a, they might be an, ass an assistant producer or an associate producer uh, or something down here and then six years later they're directing mm -hmm. you know so the idea is to provide stepping stones for really good creative outlets yeah yes. it's like agriculture yeah yep. you prepare the land and you and water then, it mm -hmm. and, yeah. and like this is also what happened um, uh, on the preparations of uh, for march 1st when we launched or nos preparaba dia pro me i was called by this local um, uh, music professional sound engineer. He is I th in his end of the 20s, 20, almost 30, but 20 something. He called me and said, Uncle Kurt, uh, I noticed that you've been busy with this and this and that. I'm a sound engineer professional, as you know. Come by because I need to talk to you because I need to give you some advice and instructions. How great is that? Those are buy-ins. Those are people who say, I'm in. Yes. I want to help. I want to make this work. Why? Because everybody benefits. Mm -hmm. you, you, everybody benefits. And at the end, here's how benefits. The film industry benefits. And worldwide, those who watch movies, they don't have to see movies in the world, they don't have to see movies in the world. Stella and um, David, you're three years already here in Curacao. Yes. Um, tell me something about our music. What, which kind of our music do you like most? Well, I'm still trying to find where the downbeat is. <laughs> it's, it's a little too smart for us, first of all. It's a little too smart for us. <laughs> uh, Tumba, um, for sure. I mean, I, I've just always <laughs> loved... Uh, you, you can hear all the different all the different cross-pollinations. And, you know, uh, there, there's so, many, so much salsa and soca. And, you know, not, not so much tango, but you, you hear it. You hear yes. all of it. And I just love... I, I, what I love about it so... If I could say one thing about being in Curacao in music is that they haven't forgotten what music is in the sense that it is about happiness, it's about togetherness, it's about joy, it's about celebration. As good as anybody is on this island, which is as good as anybody else in the world, 
I get the sense that music hasn't become something that is just a business and, and nobody takes themselves so seriously that the joy is lost. And that's a very big lesson to relearn over. I feel more now than I feel more now than ever in a long time than what I did when I was first discovering music at 13 years old. That kind of oh. Ah, yes. And I think I think that I think that has a lot to do with the talent, but I also think it has a lot to do with the people, and the culture, and where their priorities are. So if we can do anything to help, you know, monetize that. Because I just said, you know, I just said it's not all about that, but I'm not going to say it's not any about that. <laughs> you know, we've been the, so lucky to like go to these jam parties, be invited to concerts, and meet these guys. They've been playing for a long time, yeah. and they are top of their game. And they just got back from their day job. Yes. You know, wouldn't it be nice to like... Yeah, at least a little extra income, right? I have mean, a little extra income. These people, Not work so these hard. These musicians have put the same kind of time in that a lawyer has put in, the same kind of time that a yes. doctor has put in. Um, and where you can say that, you, you know, from day to day living, yes, doctor and lawyer, you know, we need to call them up for our, for our stuff. But can you imagine without music? We need a lot more doctors. That's, yeah. what, that's what we said at the, at the. That's what we said at the end of the, uh, the evening. Also on March first, that if we could uh, move you, we'd build film scores and move you because you can do a lot of things to move people. And we said we're making film score to move you. And anywhere, if you're here on, the, on in, in your office or you're on the bar Wherever. or you're in town, yeah. and you start tapping on something. Mm -hmm. People, you will move people, will move yes. people yes. and uh, one instrument, one guitar, one drum, or a, a combination, you'll see people start to move. And yes. that's, that's what my mom will move and say, stop it, dude. <laughs> stop shaking it. the table. Hold it. But mom, I'm entertaining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then, uh, we're good at that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, 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 and to nos kohasi e trampoline pa baia fo pa mundo di cine professional pelicula discovery e potencial conosim because at the end it's about discovering our people they are here un ko bobira bota to ko un ta doble ta jibi ko ta jibi ta pernel bato pa nam you run into all those composers all those musicians all the time and say say on our our in a band, as I mentioned, in, in the States, but we're going to start playing down here. And we're going to change it up a little bit, some, being somewhat um, influenced by being down here. Now, you know, we're not going to be straight tumba, but, but from the influence we've had down here, I know that we're going to move in a little bit more of an electronic, you know, kind of vibey way. Um, and I, I want all musicians to come to this because we're, we are going to want to play with other musicians. Our band is uh, called Automatic Eden, and we toured all of the states. And now we're down here, we're reinventing ourselves, and I know we're going to want musicians to play with. So yes. what, a, what a good place. Come down, learn about film, learn about film scoring, learn about you know how to protect. Because even if you never do one film score, you learn how to protect your music, you've learned something. You know, if you learn how to copyright it, if you learn, you know. And plus, like I mentioned before, if you're a rock and roll musician and one movie calls for three or four rock and roll pieces, that composer may say, hey, remember, I remember you from, you know, from film score. Yes, it can only help yeah. to form more yeah. community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said before in the, in the interview, uh, I took them to Tumba, but I took them also to jam session in the studio. <laughs> Oh, they all played like they've known each other for yeah. decades. Yeah. I brought my dad yes. who was yeah. visiting and he played so, like yeah. he'd known these guys. He was just visiting. It was, uh, That's what I'm saying. Musicians is like that. No, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a language you speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, when you when you understand the language, then you, you'll start doing it together. And there's so many beautiful things coming out of it. But with Curso Film Score Studios, we, didn't, we don't want it to stay here. Curacao is much bigger than yes. just this. Mm -hmm. We need that trampoline to go out. To go out, yes. In the in the film industry. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we talk a lot. Yes. <laughs> I hope we, we give our people all the information. We we have to come back to, to, to talk to you again. How is going with the reactions, with Love the it. With the, I think we have to be also in one of those um, workshops. No, not one. 
Yes. Yes. All of them. Yes. And yes. Please come. Yes. 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 This, this is a, a good news. Yes. And uh, music brings happiness. Yes. yes. Music brings smile on our faces. Mm -hmm. Music wants us to dance. Yes. So um, success. Yes. yes. Thank any, you so uh, much for you as a news medium, any news medium, any reporter, journalist, any aficionado with music. You're most welcome to join mm -hmm. all of our sessions. We have also in an email that's mm -hmm. yep. dot filmscores at gmail.com. Mail us and uh, start the conversation. Give us an email address. Kirsau.filmscores at gmail.com. Papikunos, comisar como si son registrar el siguiente seminar, uh, June 23rd, de junio. Los nan como medios de comunicación que welcome anytime, un tino de a si tu sorte cosa difícil, la gano a manera de business papelmente y llega. Llega. Yes. Good, thank you. Sela, thank you. Thank you. David, thank you. Thank, thank you for being here and uh, for bringing such a good news. Yes. Uh, and um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No se nan acá también para seguir otro programa y no se lo vais a seguir. Mantenemos a informar de nos artistas, nan, nos talentos, nan. Mira que era un buen noticia para nos va a explorar el mundo y fue. Danke para seguirnos y te otro semana.